Today's lesson we are going to look at chemistry 1502, Newman projection lesson 103. Let us start. It is very important to actually watch lesson 101, lesson 102 of this topic before you watch this lesson video. Because in this lesson video we are just going to go through uh, practice questions. Let us draw a Newman projection for Pente. Before we do that, we can actually start by trying to draw this using a condensed and a Lewis dot diagram so that we can get a clear picture. Now we are going to view this along C2 and C3. So pentane, we have five carbons. Now this is carbon one, two, three, four, five. So we are going to view through two and three. Now for carbon number one, we have CH3. You can see that carbon number two is bonded with actually is bonded to a methyl group and then it has two hydrogens and then we have carbon number three which is bonded to a ethyl group CH2 CH3 and then it has two hydrogens taking this as our carbon two then this is carbon 3. We are going to draw the Newman projection like this. CH3 which is this one. Then we have two hydrogens. And then we know that the second carbon is right behind uh, C2. Then we are going to put our ethyl group here. By the way, we are going to draw the most stable Newman projection, which is the Stegard anti-conformation. So this is how we can actually draw. It's one of the ways we can draw the Newman projection of pentane. Let us look at another example. Feel free to actually draw this and then we are going to view it along C3, C4. Try to work it out and play the video to verify your answer. Now we are going to have this is C3, C4. Now hexane we have six carbons, so it means that we are going to have a ethyl group here. Since the carbons is one, two, three, four, and then we need another ethyl group here. four five six so looking at our carbons three and four we have hydrogens now drawing this we are going to have something like this I'm going to draw the most stable which should, it will be like this then we have CH3 CH2 it's actually this one CH3, CH2, then we have H, H. And then drawing the least stable, we are going to have something like this. CH3, CH2, have H, H, and then we have CH3, CH2, H, H. It's a totally eclipsed. Let us look at another example. 3,4-dimethyl hexane. Now looking at the line structure, we're going to have it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 
one two three four five six and then on carbon number three we are going to have a methyl group then on carbon number four you're going to have a methyl group again so looking at a Lewis dot diagram together with condensed we are going to have okay we are going to view this along C3 and C4 we are going to have something like this CH2 I mean CH3 CH2 and then we're going to have our carbon number three carbon number four then they are bonded I mean carbon number four is bonded to CH2 CH3 now on carbon number three we have a methyl group carbon number four we also have a methyl group then the remaining bonds it's simply hydrogen so how can you draw a human projection for this along c3 and c4 so you have something like this ch3 ch2 ch let us actually do it like this ch3 hydrogen so you can see the methyl group which is this one and then you can also see a ethyl group which is this one then we move to c4 c4 it has ethyl group methyl group and hydrogen in this case we cannot say this is the most stable because we can actually rotate it and then we can figure out the most stable depending on how many gauge interaction are there but this is one of the ways we can actually draw the Newman projection of 3.4 dimethyl hexane now lesson 104 will also have a practice question whereby we look at the most stable uh, confirmation when looking at this type of questions that's it for this lesson video this is Wahula is j thank you very much